SJ Childs Show. I'm your host, SJ Childs. The SJ Childs Show brings value to families through education, resources, and lots of laughs. Please find our children's books, the SJ Childs Books for Children, on our webpage, sjchilds.org. You can also find us at our social media pages, Facebook, SJ Child Show, Instagram, the SJ Child Show, and on our YouTube channel, the SJ Child Show, where you can like, subscribe, and share. Today, we have a very special guest, Brianna Mobilian. Brianna has a company she has created called Kids Create the Change. We're so glad to have her here today to tell us more about her company and her Empowering Children program. Thank you so much for being here today and enjoy the show. Our special guest is Brianna. Brianna, hello. Thank you so much for being here. (laughs) How are you? Great. Introduce yourself. Tell us about why you're here and um, the exciting things that you're doing. Yeah, um, I'm Brianna Mobilian. Uh, I'm a mom of two, and uh, I also teach children's meditation. I have a business called Kids Create the Change, and I sell meditation cards, which are deep breathing cards for kids, and then affirmation cards that help to empower kids. And my recent endeavor is uh, publishing a new book. It's a big one. It's 360 pages, and it's called Kids Create the Change. Wow, that's incredible. That's so much work that you're doing. And we're just talking before how we're just we're so aligned in our visions in helping children with emotional and social intelligence and understanding, because it's where it begins for people to start making relationships to be successful in their life. Don't you think? Yeah. A hundred percent. It starts in childhood. And I mean, if you think about it, like when you look on Facebook and you see these like angry comments, you think, oh, we could have maybe prevented this if we did something way back. (laughs) Yeah. Isn't that the truth? You know, the importance of teaching them early on is, is incredible. And, you know, not only does it affect us in our home life, but going to school and going out into the world and really being able to understand and be compassionate to others. Yeah. Yeah. And studies now show that IQ takes you only so far. It's really EQ, your emotional intelligence, that will take you as far as you can go. So without that um, and without fostering that in kids, like where else are they going to learn it? We have to do it as parents, as educators, as mentors. Yeah. Tell me what got you started to, into this. Um, so what got me started was, um, I had my son, he's almost eight and I did a yoga certification program and I loved it, but, um, I knew I wanted to teach children and I found this like deep inner peace through meditation. And so I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different. And instead of teaching kids yoga and movement, I wanted to teach meditation, breathing and mindfulness and gratitude and, uh, all of those things. And um, quickly I realized that I could only teach as many kids as I could reach. And in this area, there's so many kids, but I wanted to reach them far. Um, So then I created the meditation cards. And from that, um, it was just came to me like, oh, we should also empower kids and let them know how amazing they are at the same time. So then that happened as well. And it uh, it was a fun process. I designed um, every card, I have no graphic design skills at all. So I'm not special in that way, but I did it <laughs> job. <laughs> yeah. It's great. When we, we realize we have talents unknown, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Especially with technology. I agree. No, they're beautiful. And it's a, it's a really great message to kids because it's so important that their confidence is built up very early on confidence, independence, and just understanding of others completely. Tell us more about your uh, your big book that you're working on. 
Um, so this book is, it's different than other books out there because first of all, it's size. I mean, it's <laughs> like textbook size, which can be intimidating, but it's pretty neat because this is done through a 90 day period. Um, so each day there's 30 chapters. You're just working on a few pages of the chapters. Um, day one is reading and reflecting. So it has messages on things like being intentional, being mindful, um, having empathy. Um, it's really skill building life lessons. And then it's followed up with activities. These activities are hands-on. So then kids get real world experience or they can make a real life connection to what they learned. Um, and then there's also diverse characters. Um, there's characters of different color, different abilities, um, because I really wanted to foster true acceptance in kids. I wanted them to look at these pictures and either see themselves or see the beauty in other people, because I think that it's it's there in everyone and, and kids need to be exposed to that. Yeah, absolutely. Show us a few pictures of your book, if you don't yeah, mind. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Okay, this is, and all of them are named. This is Jackson. And, Wonderful. And he is in the chapter on being enough, um, which I think is a really important message because um, what does that even mean? You know, I think kids can learn that a little bit younger. Um, this is Audrey. Being honest, that's an important one, isn't it? Yeah. honesty. It's so important. You know, we were talking, you know, about the affirmations and things. And, um, when our kids were little, we had our family rules. You have to be honest. You have to be fair. You have to be strong and you have to be wise. And we would make them I repeat them all the time. I love that. <laughs> it's like your own family affirmations. <laughs> exactly. I love it. Um, I was trying to find a specific one, but, um, like here's handling conflict and this is chase. Wonderful. So um, important. Gosh, so many important messages. This is Jason. This is, uh, hand, um, empathy. I can't say I was creative with the names though, because some of them rhyme and there was a lot of girls names with a, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So those, and then at the end of each chapter, um, there's just the same journal log and um, what it's designed to do is just kind of get kids to use their higher thinking skills with a grown up. Um, so it's like, what is something you learned from reading today? How would you like to apply what you learned to your own life? Um, how would applying what you learn make a positive impact on you or others? And are there other reflections you'd like to share? And the cool thing about this book is um, it's not just skill building life lessons over the 90 days. It's also an opportunity to connect with the parent. Mm -hmm. So one of the parents takes this journey with their child and for about 15 minutes a day, they're reading or they're having fun doing lessons and they're really connected because they're just spending that time with each other. Um, so the other part of it is they're, they're building a healthier bond with their loved one. Yeah, I think the bond is trust. I mean, that is what builds our trust with people is having those close bonds with those that we love and feel protected by. And that take time for us as children. I'm not a child, but yeah, <laughs> for our children, it, it, it's so true. I, I completely agree with that. Um, yeah, I, this is amazing. I think that these messages are so important and are, are you sell is the book published yet? So it is published. Um, I it's published. I only have well right now. This is a paperback. I'm go, I'm selling hardcover copies um, so that you can preserve it and you know keep it forever. Wonderful. There's going to be neat memories inside. Um, and I just recently launched it. Um, so I did it on Kickstarter. Okay. And we'll see how it goes there. And if not, it'll just be um, going right through my website. Yeah. And everybody, the links will be in the description. You'll be able to go find this book, get it for your family. What an important message to get to our families and early learners. And, you know, I wanted to go back to one thing that you had said in the book about how it has that journaling page. And it got me to thinking, you know, journaling doesn't mean pen and paper. You know, you can draw pictures. You can yeah. just 
discuss with your child what these things mean. You can make a song about it. There are so many ways to express yourself through journaling. It doesn't, you don't have to necessarily, like I said, take, you know, a pen to paper. So yeah, make sure that you I take, that. yeah, take advantage of those things to use, you know, with this. So great ideas. Or you could even take a picture of doing the activity, like, you know, applying it to your life and then yeah. add it to the book. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking of so many ways. <laughs> You could act out a play. You, you could roll, you know. <laughs> exactly, huh? Make a second edition of just our great ideas. <laughs> oh, that's fabulous. I'm so, so glad that we got to connect today because the, the messages that you're giving are so important for our kids out there. And you're seeing it directly, I'm sure, with your kids. Tell me about the experiences they're having with the books and the cards. Yeah, so it's been really, really interesting. Um, when I started writing this, I was writing on the same computer I'm sitting here at, and it was just, you know, uh, a white screen and black letters, so it's pretty boring. And so I was reading it to my six-year-old, and I was actually really surprised that he sat and focused and listened um, because there were, were no pictures at that time. Um, and so Every time I was done with a chapter, I'd say, hey, buddy, you want to listen? And he'd go, yeah, yeah. And he'd come over and sit and read. And then I would hear him like later on, maybe it was that day or the next day, um, using something he heard from mm -hmm. the book. Um, so like one time his sister, she was really upset. She had uh, knocked her toys down and just was angry. And he went over to her and he was asking her why, which isn't always common for a six-year-old. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then he said, you know what? He said, we all make mistakes and that's okay. You made a mistake. You can try again. Pencils have erasers for a reason. So <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. And doesn't that make you just feel like, wow, this is my purpose. And this is exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing is, yeah. you know, it's great to touch all kinds of children's lives and, and, you know, knowledge and everything. But when you see it in your own children, it's so rewarding. I completely it's agree. Rewarding. Yeah. It's I, so rewarding. I came in the other day and I had just done a podcast actually. And then both my kids came in and said, can we do our podcast too? So they both sat down, <laughs> put the headphones on, did a little recording. We, you know, set it up, recorded it for them. And it's just so beautiful to see them emulate, you know, what yeah. you're doing. And it's like, yeah. oh my gosh, I'm making a difference here. <laughs> you are, and you're yeah. inspiring them now. They want to do it. It's amazing. It is so <laughs> incredible. Not to mention, you know, I, I told you I wrote some children's books, but my daughter, she actually is such a great little artist and she illustrated her own book at eight oh, years old and I we published it. And so, yeah, now she has that, that just that confidence to know that she did something huge, you know, yes. that, and if she could have done it at eight, imagine what she can keep doing and continue to be doing in the future. So hundred percent. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, not many eight-year-olds publish books. So. No, <laughs> that's what I always tell her. Like, oh my gosh, when you are older and you tell people that you were eight, when you published your first book, people are not going to know what to say to that. It's, it's just incredible. <laughs> And yeah, I'm so proud of them for that great stuff. So yeah. I told you that I wanted to, you to think about, um, a funny story possibly that you could tell so that, you know, cause I, I love to laugh and tell some funny things. So how, what did you come up with? Okay. Well, I had two, so <laughs> I love it. That's even better. Let me give you the one about my daughter. So recently she's four, she's almost five. And recently she has been like asking to pray for people, which I find to be so sweet. And, um, you know, at dinner, or, you know, so-and-so wasn't at school. Can we say a prayer for them? Wish them well. So I'm like, yes, we can do that. And so in the car, we're driving the other day and she's in the back going like this. And my husband looks back and he's like, is she praying? Like, <laughs> I think she is. I think she's praying. And so then we're like, oh, I bet she's praying for her friend at school. That's so sweet. And so I said, Kaya, when, when she was done, Kaya, what were you praying for? And she goes, mommy, I asked you before to bring me a bunny and you didn't. So I asked God, I prayed for a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get one? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe 
it'll come in the form of a stuffed bunny, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I love little children's minds. I know. It was the cutest thing. Like it was her her reason for getting so a bunny. Sweet. So <laughs> sweet. I love that she has that tenderness too. It really is, you know, an honor to you that she has such great uh, empathy for others. I, I just love that. Great Thank job. You. <laughs> I know, you know, as a mom, sometimes you're like, you know, you don't get everything right. And sometimes I guilt myself and I'm like, oh, I've done this wrong. I've done that. But it's nice when you say that because you're like, yeah, you know, there's there's good stuff there. <laughs> exactly. One, I bet that, you know, while we're on the topic of being a mom and self-care, I bet that the, the meditation uh, is so rewarding for you guys to just be in a quiet space that's, you know, full of peace. <laughs> and uh, it, that's so nice. I think that we don't have many moments like that in our home. We probably could include more of them, but yeah, the wonderful message and ideas for people. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Second funny story. I'm ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> this, so this one was a couple weeks ago. I had to go get allergy tested and they give you like the paperwork that you have to put this yeah. cream on your arms and you have to put saran wrap and you kind oh. of wrap your arms up and then you put your clothes on and I live in Florida. So it's hot. Oh, gosh. Um, but so I'm, you know, I, I didn't check my uh, supplies. The, the night before. And so that morning I had to be there within the hour. So I get home and I start putting my cream on and I go downstairs to get the saran wrap and I don't have any. And so I'm Googling and it's like, no, you need the saran wrap. And so I found freezer bags. And so I cut them up <laughs> and I wrapped them around my arms. And then I wrapped uh, like tape all around it. And <laughs> And I put my clothes on and when I got there and I warned her, I was like, you're probably have never seen anything like this before. <laughs> no, it can't be that bad. And the woman did not stop laughing for like five minutes. Oh. She's like, I've never seen this. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Oh man, that's really funny. <laughs> and not only that, I put the cream on wrong, which how can you put cream on wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Who knew that was a thing, right? I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny. Oh my goodness. Well, our, uh, yeah, our son has, he's uh, twice exceptional. So he has some crazy splinter skills, a photographic memory. And in that password keeping has been nearly impossible in our house because he can crack any code, find any password find a way to find the password, whatever it takes. I mean, I've had to get new credit card numbers because he memorizes oh things. It's crazy. So I think I, I've been in the clear for quite some time now, but I woke up this morning and sure enough, there is a $32 charge for yes. endless readers, which is, you know, at least he's buying a reading app. <laughs> the thing is, Brianna, he reads 25 languages so I'm quite sure he didn't need the first grade sight words that he purchased, <laughs> oh my but now maybe my other child can use them. <laughs> I tried to get a refund, but no, <laughs> well, that you way it goes. better than a video game, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. I know. Right. <sighs> what you wish for. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's quite the little keep us on our toes with things. I mean, we used to come in and our uh, Xbox or remotes were turned to like Japanese or Russian. <laughs> this boy, yeah, he's been our, our Riddler <laughs> for many years now. <laughs> so you got to learn to keep up. That is so funny. Oh, yeah, I keep, definitely. I think I've definitely gotten smarter in the last 10 years. <laughs> That's so great. It was so nice to have you on today. And I just love our visions align so much and our values and things. Tell people where they can find you and your social medias. Yeah. So, um, I have a business account on Facebook. It's called kids create the change and there's no spaces and same for Instagram. My Instagram handle is kids create the change. 
um, and you'll see like a little book icon. Um, and my website is the same, <laughs> www.kidscreatethechange.com. And uh, my book is on Kickstarter right now. Um, and if you just hop over there, if you don't have the link, you would just type in Kids Create the Change and it should pull right up. Perfect. That's so exciting. I'm thrilled to look at it. I can't wait to get in there and, and look at all the different, um, different types of information and the really great knowledge you're bringing and the value you're bringing to children and to families. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes. It's been such a pleasure. Thanks. And we will definitely be talking again in the future and, um, we'll check back with you to see how your book is doing. Yeah. And your, your stuff too. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Brianna. Bye. Bye. you warm at night when you walk home I'll grab some blankets from my bed wrap them around your chest and I'll pull you close we'll flip some channels to find out there's nothing all right now to ease your mind sit back relax there is no rush no need to speed things up all we have is Forget about the past Time To figure out a way to make this moment last To make this moment last To make this moment Sunsets, I won't let you forget that I, I need you Spring comes, spring goes forever You will know that I, I love you